Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna explore the world of cheesy habits that you need to own up to, and well, some mythical crew members need to own up to. But first, don't freak out, but left-handed people are lizards in disguise. Yeah, and don't freak out, but uh, I'm left-handed. Yeah, don't freak Apparently. out. Apparently. But Link thinks that he's right-handed, but he's actually left-handed. I tried to confirm it at one point. Don't freak out. It didn't really work out as well as I wanted it to, but don't freak out. I still believe that he is left-handed. And don't, don't freak out. I think he is a lizard. And don't freak out. I'd love to be a lizard. So, fine. Yeah, because I can stand I still for a really long time and then move really quickly and then stand still for a long time. And sometimes you catch them in the hot sun and they're doing like push ups. Have you seen the lizards do the push ups? Anybody yeah. seen a lizard push ups? Yeah. Lizards do Barbara do and Jade and Peanut Butter Jade go lizard hunting during lizard season? Um, they'll dart after them a little bit, but then they get a little scared. Yeah, so they never Enzo, actually bite a lizard. Enzo could catch a lizard. Ringo likes the idea of catching yeah. a lizard, but I see him and he's not really committed. You know, yeah. Yeah. He's I mean, they were scared. freaked out by a praying mantis that they saw. And then it got so still that they were just like, you know what? We're going to stay away from that thing. And then they just uh, stayed totally away. Well, Barbara came inside one time with feathers all over her mouth. Feathers? Yeah, like she'd eaten a bird. Wow, like a cat. I don't, I don't know what happened. I think she may have just huh. got into a pillow. All right, uh, we actually have uh, mythical beast submitted cheesy uh, habits too, right? Yeah, we have mythical crew and mythical beast cheesy habits, and your job is to uh, let them know if they're cheesy or not, well, okay. or maybe we're they're not cheesy. Maybe we're they're experts cute. on this. Um, okay. The first one comes from our very own Maisie, who says. I talk to inanimate things, mostly because my dad does. Like, I'll say, thank you, campground, when I leave one, or good morning, beautifuls, if I pass a nice bush of roses. Well, roses are living, and I'm, you know, Christy definitely talks to her plants. Maisie, are you on the line? I am. Okay. I um, thought this was going to be like you were, like, frustrated with, like, you know, you're trying to fix something and you're like, just you, Mr. TV. Uh, but it's not that. You're Is it only positive? It's it's only positive. I think, I stand by my cheese. It's very cheesy. I I like to compliment things. Well, that's not, that's good vibes. Did you say um, greetings campground? What did you call it? What did you say? Thank you. When I leave the campground, I, I wave at it and I say, thank you campground. Oh, thank you campground. I mean, it's good to thank exercise you. gratitude, except if you do it verbally, you might be seen as crazy. Yeah, I don't know if this is cheesier. I mean, like if your toaster, it's like, oh, thank you, toaster, for giving me, you know, toasted bread. You can't speak to your toaster too much, though. You speak to an actual anything that's plugged into power. You speak to it too much, it could become sentient. You talk to an appliance. Oh, I'll talk to, I'll talk to something if I appreciate it. I give my car little love pats on the hood if it's going up a hill. <laughs> You're sitting girl. on the hood going up a hill? Yeah, I'm in like the dashboard and I'm driving. Yeah. I'll pat the dashboard. Do you, do you live alone? I do. I do. I do. Okay. <laughs> that was a uh, yeah, idea. Okay. I think there's another thing besides just being cheesy that's going yeah, on. Yeah, you're not cheesy. I think this is this is good. You're a verbal processor who lives alone. Yeah, yeah. I get I'm, that. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. I'm not crazy. <laughs> Yeah, well, this is not about. Not, are you crazy? It's, not are you cheesy. cheesy? It's, this is not cheesy. I think I think it's nice because I think it. Um, you're developing relationships with things that ultimately makes you a more positive person. Yeah, and could turn on you. Um. Okay, so this next one's from Emily, <laughs> and it, it it's similar to Maisie's. I'm gonna say, I leave a toy in charge of my apartment when I leave for a trip. Hmm. All right, Felicity, you're in charge, so everyone listen to Felicity. I still do it. I so like first started of all, young. I, I like how Emily, are you on the line? I am. I love how we've got Emily here, but Stevie's still confessing it from so it's like they well, it's written they out in like in statement form. Yeah, so, so I'm so just reading the statements, you know. Well, it's one I thought thing. this was gonna be a matching game, so I put that in there for a little extra flair. But <laughs> oh yeah, right. You didn't know, know the format. Not. I bet this was Emily. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is Felicity? Felicity has actually been on the show twice. Uh, Felicity appeared. Um, 
I don't remember what, what season it was, but the like our favorite childhood toys more. Oh. And then also I when I did the quarantine workout. I used Felicity and an Alf doll as weights. Oh, <laughs> I remember okay, that. Okay, okay, okay yeah. yeah. So Those long were the ago. days. It's an American Girl doll. She's a yes. Uh, I remember. I remember yeah. Felicity. Does she do a good job? She does. Nothing has set on fire yet. Do you uh, position her to actually have visibility to uh, like yes. a high place, trouble spot? High place in a corner. She's usually holding court on the couch. Um, I, I feel like I have to leave her in charge now. I do have a beast action figure that has also made an appearance on the show. I remember him too. <laughs> He's like vice president. Uh, so like, I'm like, you know, if she gets taken out for whatever reason, you're the next just, one, buddy. This is not cheesy at all. It's just <laughs> real creepy. It's just I real have, strange. I've just done it since I was little and I don't know. Maybe it's like a, I don't know, uh, what's that called where you... Maybe it's a little OCD or something like that. Or maybe it's kind of, what's the word where you... Superstitious? Superstitious. That's the word. Yeah. Maybe it's a little superstitious at this yeah, point. Yeah, I don't think it's cheesy either. I uh, think you maybe like you like to have to, to delegate power. Like, is that part of it? <laughs> maybe. That's, you that's fun. Do you enjoy being a... You want to be a boss? Oh, boy. That's you know, a loaded question there. We can I put you know. in charge of people. Emily, have you ever, like when you're leaving your apartment or house pretended like someone else was in there to like throw off. Like, have you ever answered the door for somebody and it's a strange, have you ever pretended there's somebody living in your house with you? That's not actually for your safety. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. And the answer is kind of no, but like when I was a kid, <laughs> you're not sure. like Felicity. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, for sure, like if I was home alone or something and somebody came to the door, it was usually um, traveling. Those Who are the people that try to sell you Vacu Bible? Vacuum salesman. <laughs> oh, Jehovah's Witness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, they trying to give you the good book at the door. I would definitely try to get out of it by going, oh, mom, my mom's calling me. I got to go. Satan, Satan, are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Beast, you need me to change your diaper? Okay, I'll be in there in a minute. Yeah, the, ultimately, this is not cheesy. Uh, because uh, When something is cheesy, doing it is not cool. And I don't think that what you're doing is not cool. It's just, oh. it's a little strange. It's yeah. just strange. It's it's scary. It's weird. It's creepy. It's uh, what a positive <laughs> spin can I put on this? I just okay. like to think that inanimate objects that I've grown up with have um, some kind of soul or something. And yeah, I like you've made Maisie it. seem sane. That's really yeah, what's yeah, happening. Yeah, I do. I just like to let them know they're doing a good job. And, and, and uh, if they are, you know, if they are, if they have personalities or souls or something like that. This is kind of just in case. It's like, well, Felicity will never turn on me because I left her in charge all that time. Yeah, yeah, I actually had a, a similar thing happen. I I posted on Twitter and then I immediately took it down. But that like I have to get all of the chunks of soup out of the can when I'm making soup because I'm a, I like in my mind I'm like hurting if somebody gets left behind and I'm hurting the soup's feelings. <laughs> okay, you shouldn't have said any of that. No, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, no, I'm. Yeah, right. I, you crossed I, the line now. No, I understand that one. But that's but that's because you you don't want to waste it, not because you're worried don't about the tell soup's me why. feelings. Do you care about the soup's feelings? Uh, no, I I understand personifying things, but I just I just don't speak to things out loud. So I'm actually I'm actually kind of with you there and with Maisie <laughs> as well. That like the whole Toy Story of it all, you know, it's like the reason why that yeah. resonated so much is because you 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 imbue your toys. With, oh, you're bored. Yes, okay, we're, we're moving on. Boring, yeah. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Toy Story. Yeah, let's hear the next I'm gonna, one. I'm going to tease the uh, Jenna confession because I want to get to some mythical beasts, so we're going to come back to, to Jenna. So, you All know, right. I, I just want to tease that. Uh, okay. So we're going to go to at Link's peanut butt. Um, when I tell my three-year-old I love him and he says, I love you too, I have to carry on with I love you more, most, et cetera, or I love you three, et cetera. He, he'll always reply with, I love you more too, I love you most too, I love you three too. So that's our little cheesy thing. That's that's that's, that's super sweet. cheesy and sweet. It's just sweet. I mean, with my mom, I mean, we, we definitely had a lot of like bed tucking in uh, routines that we would go back and forth 
It was like, actually, it was like, I, I love you, and be like, I love you to the moon, and I guess this is in a book, and I love you to the moon and back. It was yes, like, that's was like, in that look. sad, sad book that always makes me cry, love, where yeah, like infinity. the positions are reversed, yeah. and oh my god, yeah. don't bring that up. And also, when 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 she would come and visit you at college, you would do that a long time. Yeah, uh, she would say, which I thought was weird, and she would she had to tuck him in for the first three semesters. She would say night night, and I would say sleep tight, and she would say don't let the bed bugs bite 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 bite. Yeah, and she would. Bite, 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 bite in my lower bunk, and she'd go up to the upper bunk in college and do she it to you. She tried it a few times with me. I was kind of into it for a while, but then I was like, I don't think we gotta break this off somehow. So the last time she came up and she brought her hands out, and I turned away, and she just hit the small of my back, and I didn't, and I just, I stiffened, and uh, she, what? Never, she she never did it again. <laughs> At Marie Star. When I drink something carbonated and it kind of burns, I always say, that's a spicy meatball. Cheesy. Definitively cheesy. This is the first, for me, this is the first cheesy thing. Yeah. Like, if you said that in front of me, I would be embarrassed. Because no one benefits. It's not like the kid who you're being cheesy with, and it's like, oh, that's there's a sweetness. That's a spicy meatball. I mean, yeah, I mean, it might be a little bit funny. And maybe the first time you did it. But the second time you did it, I'd be like, oh, I, gotta, I gotta get out of here. It doesn't, it doesn't land with anyone except for you. It's a, it's a personal experience. It's self-indulgent. And you're expecting other people to what, laugh? Like, uh, am I supposed to laugh? No. That, that's what I would say if I was you. I'd be like, am I supposed to laugh yeah, when you do that? How do you want me to react to that? Yeah. Should I say something in an Italian accent back to you? Yeah. So oh, let me have a swig. Hardy, hardy har, eat. I love to honk and wave at people who drive the exact same make color of my car. I drive a 2018 Honda Civic. Nobody <laughs> waves back and are just confused for the rest of the day about the rando who waved at them. Yeah. I so badly want to be one of the cool kid drivers that wave, and then the rest of my scripting just went away. Well, but you've I heard think that's I've heard it. enough, because I know... I, this is this is an urge that I have. I, yeah, the car that I got was like um, there weren't many around, and I I thought I picked a color that was one that few people would pick, so it would remain unique. But I started I'm starting to see more of my car creeping around town, and I'm I just I'm flooded with the urge to wave at those people. But you don't drive what a 2018 what? Honda Civic. Civic. I mean, eighteen civic. But yeah, I, I mean, too prolific. If it, but it's just more people to connect with. There is a connection. Hey, we drive the same car. So I don't you can think either this be is jealous, cheesy. or you can be like, well, there is that urge. I don't think I it's cheesy. Say, Have you felt the urge? Oh yeah. I mean, well, Has it, it, it depends. Is it a on, common human urge? It mm. to me, it depends. Okay, first of all, like, okay, this is common knowledge amongst people who ride motorcycles. You see somebody else on a motorcycle, especially if they're on the same style of motorcycle that you're on. Sure. You acknowledge them, right? It's a it's a club. Uh, it's like, you have an experience that I can relate to. But being in a 2018 Civic is an experience that so many people can relate to <laughs> that, it's, that it loses all meaning. I think you've got a point with your car, especially the color. You're like, you know? Maybe the double point. You know what double Cassie nine. always does, and I'm always, because. People always respond. I'm always confused. You know, she's really she's a car girl. She likes she likes she cars. Does. She, she likes knows cars. which cars go fast. Even though some cars like they're not the cars that you would think, right? It's not like a Lamborghini and she's like, hey. It's yeah, like yeah. a GTI something. You, it, you know, they're not cars that are like flashy. They're just cars that like car people are like, yeah, that's probably yeah. souped up. And so she will like drive up next to them and like give them a a thumbs up, and they automatically are like, oh, I know that yeah. she's talking about my car. That's why I got this car. Yeah. Some it's so like weird. But she doesn't drive one of those cars. Not right now. But she did. She, ha she had a GTI, I think. Yeah, it was a Jet Golf? No. It was a... No, I think it, I think it is the a... The Volkswagen is called a GTI. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, I've teased Jenna, and and now here here we go. Before you do... As we're wrapping things up, I want to tell people to check out the Mythical Kitchen channel. You, you, you saw Trevor and Nicole over there making stretchy, stretchy cheese. 
and it got chaotic. But you know what? There's a whole channel. If you like that kitchen chaos, chaotic. We have a whole channel. They have a whole channel. Mythical Kitchen. Josh and Nicole also have a podcast. People really getting on board with their podcast. Hot dog is a sandwich. It, food it, debates. It is the culinary food podcast. hot takes. It is the food put podcast. The food podcast to listen to. So, check out the podcast and the channel. Jenna, what's up with Jenna? My oh, so sorry. I will be reading on Jenna's behalf, even though oh, she's on yeah, the don't, phone. Don't make her. Don't make her say her thing. My brother and I, whenever we talk to each other, don't use each other's names. We only say things like "Hey, brother" or "Thanks, sister." I didn't realize that wasn't a normal thing people did until a few years ago. He, okay, Jenna, are you there? Yes, I am. What you're doing, I don't hate, but it's really close to something that I that I just I have a really hard time with. Oh, okay, I'm listening. Um, when somebody, and so maybe you do this, and I'm just going to ask. It's like, do you ref? Refer to your brother to other people when your brother is present or not present as brother. Not my brother, but as if his name is brother. Like, brother and I went to the farmer's market. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> um, have you ever done that? Because Chrissy and I were listening to this podcast from this woman who got her sister on there and she was like, sister and I, blah, 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 blah. Sister and I, that's, that's, and it's like, I could not take it. Yeah. I can't take it, Jenna. Don't, <laughs> please tell me you don't do that. Even well, if you're lying. I, I, I think you're gonna be okay, because I, I do not do that. I specify my brother when I'm not addressing him directly. Like, if I'm addressing him directly, I'll be like, hey, brother, can you do this? But if I'm talking to someone about him, it's always my brother. Hmm. Or you say his name. Or I, or I'll be like, "Oh, Sean, my brother." Because, but then a lot of times I forget. I, even then, his name. Like when I talk to people, I'll still say, "Oh, my brother." But right. It's just like Rhett says, "My wife," a lot in conversation on our podcast, even though everyone knows it's Jesse by now. Well, because there are always new listeners. I, I'm I'm talking to the new listener. Yeah. Welcome to the cool. podcast. But if you would have said, "Wife and I," or "Wifey." I, Wifey and I that would be cheesy. got into an that argument. Would be cheesy. My my wife, Jessie is her name, uh, refers to her sister as sister a lot. Hey sister, that's what they, that's how they greet each other on the phone. They talk a lot on the phone. Hey sister, both of them back and forth call each other sister. And that's and what think, Jen, that's what Jenna does with her brother. And I and I, yeah, exactly. And I'm and I'm not saying any I'm not critiquing. I don't that. think it's you know what I think it is, Jenna? I don't think it's cheesy at all. I think it is a sign of closeness because if you're not close with a sibling you don't you definitely just call them by their name because that's what you call other people is by their name but when you go the extra mile and say hey sister hey brother it's clear that there is a deeper bond there i think this is something to be celebrated and appreciated yeah it's not it's not cheesy and but i assume that you guys as young siblings called each other brother and sister is that true? Yeah, as, as as young siblings, we we did. I wonder if it was also a thing of like because we were twins to like. Well, not we were, we are still <laughs> twins. Yeah. But, You'll grow but out. I don't, of it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Right, so, yeah. but it's it's something you carried on from childhood. Yeah, we did it when we were kids. Too. And but uh -huh. but this certain podcast host, what I think happened is like they had the parents who were like. Now, Cindy, tell sister you're sorry. And it was just like, well, sister and I are going to the farmer's market now. It's just yeah, like- right. it, I'll tell her thing, I'm sorry at the farmer's one, market. One Don't thing, make me do it now. No, but one thing leads to another. It's like, you know, a parent who's like, it's not tell your sister you're sorry, it's tell sister you're sorry. It's baby talk mm. from, a, from, an, a, from a parent to a child that then they adopt. And now as a grown ass podcast host, she thinks, that it's cute yeah. to refer to sister as somebody who's going to. Why don't in. you and just, just say just who it not, is? Why don't you just I call them out right it. now? Who is it? Who is it? Link? I can't remember her name. All I know is she's got a damn sister. <laughs> so if you've got a podcast out there and you've got a sister that you call sister, I'm coming for you. Yeah, links after you. 
Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?